Pierre Bale, French, Biel, the 18th of November 1647 to the 28th of December 1706, was a French philosopher and writer best known for his seminal work, The Historical and Critical Dictionary, publication beginning in 1697. Bale was a Calvinist Protestant Huguenot. As a forerunner of the Encyclopedists and an advocate of the principle of the toleration, his works subsequently influenced the development of the Enlightenment. Biography Bale was born at Carla le Comte later renamed Carla Bale in his honour, near Pamiers, Ariège, France. He was educated by his father, a Calvinist minister, and at an academy at Poulorens. He afterwards entered a Jesuit college at Toulouse, and became a Roman Catholic a month later 1669. After 17 months, he returned to Calvinism and fled to Geneva. There he became acquainted with the teachings of René Descartes. He returned to France and went to Paris, where for some years he worked under the name of Bell as a tutor for various families. In 1675 he was appointed to the Chair of Philosophy at the Protestant Academy of Sedan. In 1681 the university at Sedan was suppressed by the government in action against Protestants. Just before that event, Bale had fled to the Dutch Republic, where he almost immediately was appointed Professor of Philosophy and History at the École Illustre in Rotterdam. He taught for many years, but became embroiled in a long internal quarrel in the college. It resulted in Bale being deprived of his chair in 1693. Bale remained in Rotterdam until his death on 28 December 1706. He was buried there in the Walskirk, where Pierre Jurieu would also be buried, seven years later. Topic. Writings At Rotterdam, Bale published his famous Reflections on Comets in 1682, as well as his critique of Louis Mainborg's work on the history of Calvinism. The reputation achieved by this critique stirred the envy of Pierre Jurieu, Bale's Calvinist colleague of both Sedan and Rotterdam, who had written a book on the same subject. Between 1684 and 1687, Bale published his Nouvelles de la République des Lettres, a journal of literary criticism. In 1686, Bale published the first two volumes of Philosophical Commentary, an early plea for toleration in religious matters. This was followed by volumes 3 and 4 in 1687 and 1688. In 1690 there appeared a work entitled Avis Important Ox Refugies, which Jiriu attributed to Bale, whom he attacked with great animosity. After losing his chair, Bale engaged in the preparation of his massive Dictionnaire Historique et Critique historical and critical dictionary, which effectively constituted one of the first encyclopedias before the term had come into wide circulation of ideas and their originators. In the dictionary, Bale expressed his view that much that was considered to be truth was actually just opinion, and that gullibility and stubbornness were prevalent. The dictionary would remain an important scholarly work for several generations after its publication. The remaining years of Bale's life were devoted to miscellaneous writings. In many cases, he was responding to criticisms made of his dictionary. Voltaire, in the prelude to his poem Sur le désastre de Lisbonne calls Bale, le plus grand dialectician qui ait jugés écrit the greatest dialectician to have ever written. The Nouvelles de la République des Lettres was the first thorough-going attempt to popularize literature, and it was eminently successful. His multi-volume historical and critical dictionary constitutes Bale's masterpiece. The English translation of the dictionary, by Bale's fellow Huguenot exile Pierre de Maison, was identified by American President Thomas Jefferson to be among the 100 foundational texts to form the first collection of the Library of Congress. Topic. Views on toleration Bale advanced arguments for religious toleration in his Dictionnaire historique and critique and commentaire philosophique. Bale rejected the use of scripture to justify coercion and violence. One must transcribe almost the whole New Testament to collect all the proofs it affords us of that gentleness and long-suffering, which constitute the distinguishing and essential character of the Gospel. He did not regard toleration as a danger to the state, on the contrary. If the multiplicity of religions prejudices the state, it proceeds from their not bearing with one another but on the contrary endeavoring each to crush and destroy the other by methods of persecution. 
In a word, all the mischief arises not from toleration, but from the want of it. Bale also rejected the use of coercion and violence in the universities. It will be an everlasting subject of wonder to persons who know what philosophy is, to find that Aristotle's authority had been so much respected in the schools for several ages, that when a disputant quoted a passage from that philosopher, he who maintained the thesis, durst not say, transit, but must either deny the passage, or explain it in his own way just as we treat the holy scriptures in the divinity schools. The parliaments, which have proscribed all other philosophy but that of Aristotle, are more excusable than the doctors, for whether the members of the parliament were really persuaded that that philosophy was the best of any, or whether they were not, the public good might have induced them to prohibit the new opinions, for fear the academical divisions should spread their malignant influences on the tranquility of the state. Topic. Skepticism Richard Popkin has advanced the view that Pierre Bayle was a skeptic who used the historical and critical dictionary to criticize all prior known theories and philosophies. In Bayle's view, humans were inherently incapable of achieving true knowledge. Because of the limitations of human reason, men should adhere instead to their conscience alone. Bayle was critical of many influential rationalists, such as René Descartes, Thomas Hobbes, Baruch Spinoza, Nicolas Malebranche and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. Bibliography Ponce's Diverses sur l'occasion de la comète, 1682 translated as Various Thoughts on the Occasion of the Comet 2000 by Robert C. Bartlett, SUNY Press. Historical and Critical Dictionary 1695 1702, enlarged, best that of P. de Maison, 4 vols, 1740 Irves Diverses, 5 vols. The Hague, 1727 to 31. Anastatic reprint. Hildesheim, Georg Olms, 1964 to 68. Selections in English. Pierre Bale, Richard H. Popkin Transal. Historical and Critical Dictionary. Selections. Indianapolis, Hackett, 1991. ISBN 0-87220-103-1. Topic. Legacy and honors. In 1906 a statue in his honor was erected at Pamiers, La Réparation d'une longue oubli, the reparation of a long neglect. In 1959 a street was named after him in Rotterdam. Topic. Notes Topic. References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Bale, Pierre. Encyclopædia Britannica, 3 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. p. 557. Topic. Sources Elizabeth Labrousse, Pierre Bale, La Haye, Martinus Nyhoff, 1963-4, two volumes, in French. Elizabeth Labrousse, Bale, translated by Dennis Potts, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 1983. Thomas M. Lennon, Reading Bale, Toronto, University of Toronto Press, 1999. Todd Ryan, Pierre Bale's Cartesian Metaphysics, Rediscovering Early Modern Philosophy, New York, Routledge, 2009. Topic. External links Works by or about Pierre Bale at Internet Archive Works by Pierre Bale at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks An Historical and Critical Dictionary Volume 1-4 Hathi Trust Pierre Bale An Historical and Critical Dictionary, Volume 1 Pierre Bale An Historical and Critical Dictionary, Volume 2 Pierre Bale an Historical and Critical Dictionary, Volume 3 Pierre Bale Lennon, Thomas M. Pierre Bale. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy In French Historical and Critical Dictionary in French, starting with the entry for Aaron, 11th edition, 1820 de Sower, Paris. Archive. Org. The New Schaff Herzog Encyclopedia of Religious Knowledge Contains the exchanges between Bale and Leibniz, slightly modified for easier reading. 
The Correspondence of Pierre Bale in EMLO. <laughs>